Cancer. Happy November. I hope you are doing well. Okay. All right, guys. I laid out the cards, but I'm just now looking through them. Um, your message is coming in here. I think you are, and there's a lot of melancholy through here too, but, but you're really being asked, you will, you will find your, your spot. I think what's happening here too is you're in the midst of, um, I think there's regrets over things that you've not done, over how you've handled certain things. Um, you guys are such givers and providers and you take care of everyone else. Um, but I think at a certain point, you start to realize that you've not done anything for yourself. And this is where the, the I know I want to make a change. I want to do something different in my life. I, I want to be fulfilled. I don't know what that is though, right? And it's a valid question because what happens is in here for you, what I'm feeling very strongly is you do so much for, uh, it, it, your world is, you're, you're shifting, right? But for cancer, what happens sometimes is for a shift to happen, and I, I really am, am not liking that word lately because this is so much more than uh, a shift. But, but for cancer especially, uh, it's, the, it's the, what does it say? The dark, you, you, you know, what, you've got to go into the dark to find uh, the light. You've got to know the polarities, right? But for cancer, it's like you've got to go into the dark, but then you've got to go darker to see the light, right? And, and that's just part of being your sign. Um, you're an old soul in a young body. So you're, you're here to do things at a deeper level, which, you know, what is that saying? The more you know, the more you're responsible for. That's kind of where you're at. And I get it. I have a lot of cancer clients, okay? So, so I do get it. Um, what you come in with is the page of coins and the eight of swords, eight of wands. Okay and you are roaring to go, okay? All right, I think though you may just not know yet where that is, okay? The energy coming into is the Queen of Swords. Okay, again, old soul, been through a lot. Um, her butt's hit the pavement many times, right? She's it's, it's through the contrast that we find our place, right? And in all of that is the blessing that, that really just, uh, it helps us find the thing that we're passionate about, right? We start to do us, okay? Oh, and underneath her is the justice card. Okay, let's see here. All right. In the past, we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, and that's really how I think you feel. I really think you feel like this, right? But I'm telling you, I feel a change for you here, like a, a cyclical change, right? Like you're, it's frustrating when you know you want to make a change or you know something's going to change or you feel something coming. You just don't know what that is. That's frustrating. Okay, now where you're anchored here is the Eight of Cups. So you've got the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So you're mulling over stuff. You're looking at, at how you've lived your life most likely, right? This is emotional energy that we're in too. In this, we miss people. We are, ex you're an extremely sensitive sign anyway. And when we have energy like this, you guys feel everything, everything from everyone. That's why I really tell my cancer clients that you've got to crystal up. You've got to protect yourself from psychic attacks because you're wide open. Someone could be just an example. Uh, you know, just an example would be someone that, that was into like negative stuff, like, like black magic stuff. Certain countries, that's not, uh, it, it's more prevalent, right? And, and 
other countries is not. But but to hear me say this, some of you are probably thinking, ah, but I'm telling you, it happens. It just happens in different countries, you know? So, so my point is that if you're wide open like this, like you are, and you brush the hand of somebody in the street that's that's practicing that, you're sucking all that in. You've got no defense whatsoever. So you're like a rag doll to every uh, everyone's emotions. So you really want to get yourself some bronzite or some some uh, agate or some uh, some black crystal or some onyx or you want to get something. You can Google online too the crystals that that repel negative energy because you're really going to need it. It's going to suck you dry this energy for the next couple of months. Okay. So, so there you go. But, but you're making massive changes. And like I said, you are an old soul. So you're, you're, you're pulling in everything from everywhere and beyond. Okay. But what crowns your reading is the sun card. Okay. And that's joy and that's happiness and that, uh, marriage and, and anything you want it to be. But we'll go over these. Let me just get through these cards. I kind of think I know what you're doing here. Coming up in the future, you've got the Page of Swords. You've got a lot of, uh, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Page of Coins, the Knight of Cups, that's a lot of court cards. When there's this many cards in here, it's it's you've got a lot of people in your surroundings. Or what I really think may be happening here are these are just at different aspects of yourself, the different areas that you're running in, all of which I, I don't feel are yours. Okay. Now, how you see every the situation in here is the death card. It's change. You want change. Okay. And in your environment, you've got uh, the higher vent. Okay, this always, when I see him, I always feel like I'm stuck in a box, like you're confined. You're just trying to bust out and 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 live your own life, right? Okay. Now, your emotional state is the Knight of Cups. This is an emotional journey, and that's what I think this is. I think this is really, um, it it's really emotional for you, an emotional time for you, okay? But it's a time of change. And the outbound card, you've got the three of swords, okay? This, we had um, the sun card, the death card, and this card in our weekly reading. And that's the end of sorrow. That's what it is. It's stepping into your own. What happens here, too, with cancer, what I really feel, and I really see it in here, too, is you've got this eight of cups. This is where you're anchored, okay? What I think is is what you've done here is again, I think you you're you can become everything for everyone. But what happens when you do that is you kind of sell yourself short, right? Because what happens here is this is these are cards of I am not fulfilled, I am bored, I am not happy. It's that the four of cups is the it's the longing for the undefined. It's that it's that I feel I'm just I'm longing for something, but I don't know what it is. What happens a lot of times is we try to fill that void with something from the outside, a person, a place, a thing, something, right? A pair of shoes, anything. Um, but that longing you're not going to find on the outside because what that card is is it's a connection to yourself and to source and to whatever your higher power is right so once you uh, reconnect with that and reconnect with yourself and start to do a little bit for yourself you've got to focus your energy to and by that I mean again stop being so many things for so many other people what you need to do really is is just Focus on something because what happens is there's no there's no direction here there's no organization and that and then there's just like the perfect chaotic storm where you just you feel you feel used and abused right so I think things are really changing for you I will say that I think that there's 
um, new things coming up for you. I think it's like a wheel of fortune kind of change where you've got guidance in here. You've got divine protection in here, but you've also got to, to, to really just put yourself in this equation here. Um, I think you're looking to learn things new. I think you're looking to go on journeys, be it an actual journey or, or learning something new or doing something new. Right, you're that's that's all through here. You're looking to do something really phenomenal in here. Um, I think what you're doing too is you're really trying to figure out, and I think you've got a grip on it too, of of who you really are, a real understanding of who you are, um, and that's what I think that the Queen of Swords is really. I think that's the energy coming through here is, you know, what do I want? What do I want to do, right? That Four of Cups is, I'm going to say, you're bored. That card can read from extreme boredom to I've finished something. Now what do I do, right? It's like the end of the book kind of deal. Now what do I do? Um, and that's what the Eight of Sword, Eight of Cups is here, you know? I think you learn something new. I think you do something new. I think you need some balance in your life, too. Um, I think there's a lot going on inside you too that you're not really one you're not comfortable with and two I think it's a like I say it, I think you're you're getting like I think people in your sphere too you're an easy target you're an easy target, and this is a time where, sadly, uh, you're picking up on a lot of that energy that's out there. So you're really going to want to, you know, crystal up with that. And I, I it's your, it's your uh, prerogative, of course, but I think you're looking to break traditions too. Okay. I think you're going to be you're going to be forced into uh, taking a stand, doing something new. Because I think a new cycle is really going to present itself meaning like and and I say this and I know it sounds odd, but it's like you wake up one day and it's like, you know what? I hate eggs, right? Just that's just a perfect example. Yet you've eaten them your entire life. It's just People think that change comes and, and these transmutations and these things, they come, you know, with like a, a five day, you know, I've got three days to get my, my crap in order because on Friday, I'm not going to like eggs anymore. It doesn't happen like that. Sometimes a day makes, is, is completely different. A day can change anything. You could go to bed being very, very upset about something and the next morning wake up and you're just, there's no residue. There's no anything. You're just happy. It's like it just passes. And that, I think, is what's happening with you. I think it's a flip of a switch that just changes your life. I think through chaos, and by that I mean just being unsettled, right? Um, I think that you're really going to see why all of this had to happen how it did. Because I really think that it's, it's a newfound appreciation for your life. Okay. I just want to, just give me a minute here. There's something with this Knight of Cups. Okay. I think there's there's great success ahead of you. It's, it's coming from this card. And it's because I think that you're emotionally going towards something that you like. That, that you want to do, right? I think your financial bracket changes also. Be that for, it, whatever it does, there's influx in that because I think you leave a current position. I think you, you change what you're doing in your life and I think it changes your financial status. I don't think it, it it's not a negative, but I think it may just, you may have to make some adjustments in your life, okay? 
this brings you liberation. It brings you freedom, okay? And that's what you're craving right now, freedom. I think you've got people too. And I don't know if if this is like your guides, your your family members that have passed over, but but something at a distance is you may not even know it, but but they're helping you behind the scenes here with whatever it is that you're trying to do. And again, it sets you free. There may be something in here too with a father from um or a family member or, or, or somebody, um, they may have been a role model to you. Um, it's something surrounding home, but, but cancer owns the fourth house and, and the fourth house is, is your home before, you know, it's your home, like where you grew up. It's that like that. I think to, I think to, you, there, there's a lot going on with you. I think you have a newfound understanding, not only for life, but for other people, a new way of looking at people, right? There can be a birth too in here. I will say that there could be a pregnancy in here too, somewhere. I want to say this, I'm getting this too, and this is not going to be for everyone. There is. I've got to put it out here because it sits in here and it's not going to be for everyone, but there is, you may have, it, it, you, because you're so kind, you've got to be discerning with the people that you're letting in your surroundings because someone could take you for a ride here. Someone may be really selling you something here that's not as it is. It may even be your kids, right? It could be, it could be something like that too. Um, I think there is someone in your surroundings that's very hostile. It could be a parent, um, but I want to be honest, I don't think they have your best intent in mind, and I hate to say that. If it's not a parent, it is a female. It is a female person, because I really see it's like a female person that does not have your best intent in heart, which is odd, and even more odd is I think it's a family member. Maybe, maybe it's a family member. There's some kind of that you there's some kind of uh, you know this person. Okay. You are to, I feel, the eternal student, right? You're looking to learn something new. Figure out what that is. Because again, I don't think you really know what that is. When people will say to me, I want to make a change, but I have you know, I'll always ask, what, uh, what fills and inflames you? What are your desires? What are your passions? When someone tells me I don't know, that means that they've spent way too many time, way too many years satisfying everyone else but themselves. When you don't know what your creative ideas are, you've got to back up the bus, right? And, and you've got to really, really think about that. Take a class, update your skills. What would you do if you didn't get paid for it? What are the things that you're good at, right? Cancers are very, very uh, psychic. Uh, you're good teachers. You have patience. You're good with children. Um, you know how to make someone feel good. Psychologists, uh, psychiatrists, whatever it is, if you're looking, if you're not fulfilled in your current job, Find a way to either incorporate that into your job or or try to, you're, you're really being asked right now is, is to, to start doing you. To start doing you, to start saying no without apologizing, right? To start taking some time to yourself, to start nurturing yourself, those kind of things, right? Like the warm blanket out of the dryer, that's what you're supposed to be doing here. I think you're trying to change things in your home environment. I think you're trying to make traditions for yourself. Um, 
I think you're just trying to make something your own, right? Like really where you feel it's your spot. And I think you're getting slammed by like psychic attacks. I really do. I've got way too many clients telling me the same exact thing. And I feel it in the energy, right? Which is why I've had to cut back on a lot of things because it's, it's sometimes too in, in certain times and, and whatever's going on, you can have the best intent and have the best, you know, protection, weapons, whatever in your arsenal here for psychic attacks. I mean, um, and it still, it still exhausts you. You really feel like you're walking in a fog. That will clear, okay? I think it's a cyclical change for you. But I think that you've really got to think about and focus on yourself for a little bit here. Um, I think some of you feel like you're in a shoebox. Give me a minute here. I think some of you are really looking for honest partners in relationships. I think they come in. I do. I think the wheel is changing for you. With that sun card in here, and it crowns your reading, it's funny because you're done with really how things are. You're just so pleasant that it's a lot, there's a lot more wildness going on inside of you than, than people are perceiving. Meaning, uh, you're trying to, ch churning things, right? Like you're trying to, you're, tr you're really going through stuff on the inside that, that people aren't even aware of on the outside, right? So, so while you're trying to get your ducks in a row, people are using and abusing you 10 ways to Tuesday. You want to be able to say no in here to that, okay? Because whatever this is, whatever this shift is, whatever this is that's got you so churning on the inside, you're going to pop out the other end and you're going to do you and you're going to be happy and fulfilled and it's going to set you free. Okay. Fulfillment is your key takeaway here. One minute, one minute. If you're sitting by the wayside, waiting for opportunities to develop, I'm getting this strong on your home front. Don't wait for things to develop. You need to get in the arena here. For those of you waiting for relationships, they're coming in. They're passionately coming in. Okay? Yes. Very nice. Okay. I think, honestly, I think that out of left field, your life changes. I think like really overnight, like you wake up and your life is completely different like that. Okay. I also feel like you're really keeping something inside. I can't help but feel that. I feel like my chest is going to explode really. You have got to talk to people in your surroundings about the things that are going on with you. If you dedicate so much of your time to people, you better start making sure that the people in your surroundings have an ear for you, okay? Because you've got a lot going on in there. I think, ironically, a partner comes in, right? Or a new aspect of your current relationship comes in. I think people just don't, they may not understand you because you keep so much to yourself. I think that that paradox changes as well. It's kind of like that old uh, adage, be seen and not heard. You really still live by that. And I think it, it when pe people have no idea really what goes on inside of you. And it's a lot. It's a lot of good stuff though too. It's a lot of stuff 
that you can teach other people. I think honestly that, and I don't want to say destiny because something changes in a phenomenal way for you. You've just got to be present and not so pulled. You've got two eights in here. That's restless energy. But what happens is when we don't find an outlet for this, the eight of swords or eight of wands, I don't know why I keep saying the eight of swords, probably because you feel trapped. But the eight of wands, there's divine timing in that, right? There's universal timing in there for sure. And it's with the ace, the, the page of coins. This is a whole new direction in life. He is the perpetual student. We all should be always looking and learning something, right? And that's what you're doing. You may just not know exactly where to direct it yet, but you will. And the state of cups is I'm emptying these out because it's old gunk in there and I'm filling it back up with things that actually fill in and flame me. Because you know what? Now I know what they are, right? There you go. It's also that eight of cups. I want to say this. It's also uh, a newfound. Uh, I like my life. My life is fulfilled. I just didn't realize it, right? All this crap that you're going through sheds light on that too. Like my life is not really stinky as I thought it was. I kind of like it, you know, because look, I actually have five minutes for myself to recognize I do have my own life, right? You're so far ahead and so out with everyone else that you're, you're not realizing these may be eight really good cups full of stuff that make you happy. Could very well be. We get a, a rude awakening when we think that the grass is always greener, right? Every relationship, every everything, even our own on a single, we need to be tended to. We need to be, you know, in the equation, right? So your life is about balance. It's about rebalancing your life, right? Um, you may be walking away from something. That Eight of Cups may be going on to something. But it doesn't mean you're leaving your home from. It means I'm incorporating more into my life. I appreciate more, right? I appreciate, you know what? I've got a whole backyard. I've never done a damn thing. I'm going to plant a garden. It's things like that. When you're home, when you're home and like present in the day, that's where your power is. So I think a lot of things are coming for you that really set you free. Your day in the sun is coming. It absolutely is. Okay? You've got divine protection in here. Ask for guidance. Okay, I think it's great. I think you're feeling a little bit lost, disheveled, melancholy, sensitive, emotional, and that's okay. It's right where you need to be. Okay. Start, however, factoring you into that equation because you either update your skill set, do something new, take on something new. You're you're doing something. Updating. You're you're updating. You're refurbishing something okay so there you go stay in the middle lane don't go wiping the slate clean <laughs> just stay in the middle lane pay attention because you're going to have all the answers and you know what take care of yourself and do it unapologetically really okay so if you need a private reading please reach out to me i know you guys are in a tough spot right now it will it will shift it really will okay thank you so much